Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week I'm coming to you with your oracle guidance and we're using one deck of oracle cards. They are called the Healing with Fairies oracle deck and it's by Doreen Virtue. So we have three options and the three options here are, are these shoes. Uh, that's option one, option two, option three. So take a moment to make a selection and you can go down to the timestamp which will be below and there you will find your reading. So for those of you who have chosen the first deck of cards here, oh well, the same deck of cards but these shoes here, we're asking the question, what is it that we need to know in this week's or in this week's oracle? What information have we come here to hear? What information do we need to know right now so that we may go ahead So I've gotten two cards here and I feel inclined to take them both and we have the inner child and we have kick up your heels so I feel very much this energy this week is about kicking up your heels and so I'm not surprised to get this card and it's very much connected to the inner child it's very much in connected to actually understanding who you are right now in this moment and how your relationship to yourself is going to impact you in the long term. And when you've done that, actually being able to take action with regard to that. So not just recognizing who you are, but being able to take action on that. So there's the feeling here with these cards that there's a need to take action. There is the need to take action, but there may be a lack of confidence or a lack of security or lack of of knowing exactly how things will unfold, whether what you're doing is the right thing for you to do, or whether uh, going ahead right now and making this decision right now is actually going to bode well for you. It's as if you actually need to make some decisions or you, you may have just made some decisions and it will make a difference in your life. It will actually change things for you quite, um, quite, you know, quite like for good, actually, quite incredibly, like it could, it's like no turning back. And what I'm posed with you, or what I feel like you're posed with, is that there's this uh, indecision, or this uncertainty as to whether you should go ahead with this. And it's almost like you feel like it's not really the good thing for you, or you don't really know that it's okay. And it's almost like you feel like it wouldn't really work for you. It doesn't matter what your decision is at this moment. Just leave the decision to the side. Stop thinking about what it is that you need to do or what it is that you have to, that's before you, that you have to tackle. Stop thinking about all of that right now and simply give yourself a chance to connect with your inner self. Give yourself a chance to understand who you really are right now. Because once you've done that, once you once you understand who you are and what you want, then you will be, it'll be clear for you. And you will be able to kick up your heels and take that action that you need to. So right now, you might have some pressure around you uh, with those people around you telling you that, okay, you need to take some action, or you need to do this, or you need to do that, or you might be putting this pressure upon yourself. And you might be feeling the need to take action because other people are taking action, or there's action, move, there's movement around you. But what I'm hearing here is that you need to really connect with yourself right now. And I feel that this week is going to be a good time for that. I feel like um, before the next moon cycle, you are going to be able to connect with that. So whenever you come to this reading, before your the next cycle, you will feel that um, you will have the opportunity to be able to understand yourself better. So this card is so much about understanding yourself and being able to connect to yourself and being able to hear yourself, being able to understand what it is that you truly feel and ask yourself, are you denying yourself? Are you actually denying what it is that you truly feel? Are you denying where it is that you need to go to? Are you saying that you can't do it because of this or because of that? Or have you learned through difficult moments uh, th that or through challenges that you cannot go in the direction that you desire and therefore you're settling for less than what you your heart desires because this is something that you need to make peace with if you are in that situation where you actually need to do something but you you don't really want to do it and you feel like you're not really there and you can't really make those choices and you don't really know how to go ahead with it then you know take a moment to come to peace within yourself um 
with this decision that you have to make or whatever it is that you have to do, be sure that you are at peace with what it is that you're doing. So leave behind the disappointment, leave behind the frustration or the irritation if there is uh, such an irritation um, in you, you know, that you're feeling right now, just concentrate on where it is that you're going to and how it is that you're going to go there. What attitude are you embodying as you go ahead right now? What is it of you that you're taking forth as you make these decisions that are coming your way right now and that you need to make in order for you to be able to go into the next level of your life? And as soon as you've come into a space within yourself, you'll be able to understand what it is that you truly need. And you might realize that the actions that you're taking don't really serve what your needs are, but you are at peace with it. And so that is what I encourage you to do right now, to actually simply come to peace with what it is that you're doing right now. It may be that you want to do something completely different, but you're not able to because your circumstances do not allow you to do that and you don't have any more energy to fight uh, or to push forth in the direction that you want to. But see it not as if you're giving up or that your dreams have been lost. See it as if this is a longer route that you're taking to the destination that you desire. And that actually, you know, if you want to move somewhere and you're not able to, or you don't think it's the right thing to do right now, don't be disheartened. It will work out okay. This is just a longer route that you're taking to go there. And if you feel that you need to have a response for somebody that is um, that, but but it's not actually the response that you desire. Give yourself time. Understand that you will get to where you need to with this person as well. So this is not just with your inner self. It's also with being able to come to peace with whatever is coming your way right now. And when, once you do that, then you know that you have you can actually kick up your heels and you can actually make that difference. You actually can take that action and that it will come with a lot more ease than right now. Right now, it feels like you're kicking, you're digging in your heels. But, um, you know, when you actually are at peace with yourself, you will flow. It'll come more easily. To that is my message for you, for those of you who've chosen the first set of shoes here uh, for this week. I do believe that um, this is quite a potent time in your life and it's quite a, um, a decisive moment in your life. You know, you're going in one direction or the other. It's like you're at a crossroads. So uh, for all of those of you who are at a crossroads, yeah, just let me know down in the comment section. I love reading your comments. And last week, I really enjoyed reading them as well. So thank you so very much for them. And I hope that this message has helped you. Good luck with it, whatever it is that you're dealing with right now. And enjoy the week. All right. Sending you much love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, the second option, the question we're asking is, what is your oracle guidance for this week? What is it that you need to know right now? What is it that you've come here to hear or that you need to hear right now that's going to help you as you go along in this week and further along? Okay, I feel this is the card. So the card here is make music. And um, I feel that this, I mean, there's the literal aspect of making music, but there's this card talks so much more about the figurative aspect of it. It's about actually being able to make music in your soul, make music in your life. It's about being able to hear the hum within you, hearing that sound within you that is your unique sound that vibrates within you that actually no one else possesses, that no one else is privy to. This card here is talking to me about you getting in touch with that, or you being able to feel that, and you being able to create more than that. So there's there's this song or this music, or this, this hum that exists within you. And this card is asking me uh, to convey to you that you need to hear that and make more of it. You need to Become more attuned with that and vibrate in that frequency. Go along with your day to day activities in that mode, in that mode, because that is actually what's going to help you right now. That is what you need to do at this moment. It, you need to hear your own sound, the, your own vibration, you need to be in touch with it. 
And um, I feel like this message is quite similar to the first one in that aspect of, you know, becoming one with your inner self. It asks you not just to understand yourself better. And in fact, it doesn't even ask you to understand yourself. It asks you to know yourself. It asks you to hear yourself and to recognize yourself and to take pride, a personal pride in who you are and what you are and the level at which you vibrate. And what I mean by that is that there is a part of you that is your individual aspect, your individual self, that only you have. There's nobody else in this world that has this part of you which is special and unique to you. And it's about understanding that and creating more from it. Recognize that in your daily activities, no matter what you're doing, whether you're shopping or cleaning your car or your home or studying or working or engaging with friends or family, whatever you're choosing to do, whatever you're doing right now, let yourself sing from within. Let yourself, let yourself just simply flourish like a fountain, like pour from within you, from your essence and create more of you and your vibration as you go along. So this is to say that there is more from what springs forth from you and it's okay to allow this magic that exists within you to touch every aspect of your life and to engage every aspect of your life with that consciously, consciously touching every aspect of your life. So when you sing forth from within you, you are actually in a state of joy, in a state of bliss, and you are able to give in this world what it is that you're here to give, what it is that you're here to share your contribution in this world. And this card is showing me that there is a part of you that you're almost denying or that you haven't, maybe you're not consciously denying it or aggressively denying it in any way, but that you are denying because you are shy and you're not confident enough to share this with the world because there's this chance of being rejected for that person that you are. And there's parts of you which you feel like you need to hide away. And this card is saying to me that it isn't that you need to bear yourself open and give of yourself in this world. This is simply that you embody your essence without shame and with a personal pride that you can bring forth in every situation, as I've mentioned. The other meaning that I'm getting here is that you may have situations which are slightly challenging, like administrative things or bureaucratic things that may seem to be uh, a bit more complicated than as you th as you thought they would be. And if you're dealing with those kind of things, if you're one of those people who are dealing with that, then understand that this is a dance and this is something that you can enjoy. It doesn't mean that you are being dragged through this or that you are forced to do this or it's something extra or that it's a frustration. It's simply asking you to dance with this, to go along with it and to bring your essence through to this, to bring your play your music, you know, dance to this and create your own music out of this. This is your experience as well. Whatever you're doing is your experience too. It is part of your being and you need not suffer through it. You need not struggle with it. You need not have uh, overt uh, challenges and difficulties. You may take your own responsibility of your situation and you may actually engage with your situation so that it doesn't harm you and that you don't feel like you are forced into the situation, but rather that you are there as a player and that you bring your own to it. Make it your own. Create from it that which is your own. And that is what this card's about, right? It's about for you this week. <laughs> Next week, it may have a different meaning or for somebody else, it may have some other meaning. But right now, this card is saying, create your own from what it is, from what your situation is. Bring your own music to it. Dance to it. Let it be. Let it be what it is and enjoy it. Now, this may mean quite literally that you're making music or that you're dancing to it. But I also mean this in terms of the figurative aspect of it, especially the figurative aspect of it. So I hope that this message has helped you. Um, I just want to say one other thing here. Your your world would benefit from having a, a shake up of a routine or a um, things doing things a little bit out of the ordinary or just you you needing that stimulation as well. You're needing to um, expose yourself to something that is a slightly different, to bring in a breath of fresh air. And whether that means returning to something that's old and tried and trusted that you've abandoned, uh, or simply engaging in something that's brand new, just shake up the routine a bit and explore something different. 
It might be that you decide to go to a museum and see something different or walk into a neighborhood that's different or somewhere that you used to frequent or simply that you decide that you're going to explore a part of town that you've forsaken. So this is something that could really be of benefit for you right now. It's saying step out of the boring, step out of the ordinary, step out of the mundane and add a bit of color to your life. And how can you do that? You decide. All right. So I hope that message has been helpful for you. I hope that you go along and you have a wonderful week and that as you make your music, that you feel the best that you can feel. All right, so lots of love to you all. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising. So for those of you who have chosen the third option here, we are asking, what is it that you need to hear and you need to know right now? And the card we have here is awakening your true self. So I just want to um, apologize for any background sounds that may annoy you or upset you or distract from the reading today. To get into the reading, all these uh, three options today have a, a, a line that's connecting them and a feeling that's really quite similar, in it, but they have a different um, message to them. So it's like the there's this underlying thread, but the, the way in which it's expressed is quite different. And here we have this card, which is awakening your true self. So yes, the, there's this feeling like you know who you are and you understand who you actually um, are in this moment and you need to be able to awaken to that aspect of yourself. So the first message was rather something to the effect of understanding and getting in touch with your essence and understanding who you are. All right. And the second message was, once you've understood who you are, then sing to that. So this card talks about actually uncovering a part of yourself that you might have discarded, that you might have abandoned, that you might have left by the wayside as you were uncovering other things about yourself. And it's about actually understanding that aspect of yourself and awakening that part of yourself. And then you will realize that the parts that you may have forsaken or abandoned along the way in search of others, the other, is actually a part of you that is, is an essential part of you. It's a part of you that needs to be recovered and understood and collated alongside the part of you that you've developed along the way in order to understand yourself completely. So in other words, you can only understand yourself at this moment if you understand yourself through your recent past as well as through your past from your origins, so from where you've come from, your early life. So if you are somebody who's middle-aged who's listening to this, I would be talking about understanding yourself in your teens or in your 20s. And if you are in your teens or 20s, I would be talking about understanding yourself in terms of the culture that you've come from or the uh, neighborhood that you've come from and understanding what it is that you liked when you were younger. What is it that you played with when you were younger? What instruments did you enjoy playing? And what did you enjoy doing with your time? You might discover that there was a sport that you played, an activity that you did when you were younger, that you rediscover about yourself that actually gives you an immense amount of joy and uncovers a part of you that was asleep until now. As you merge forth, and you bring together that part of yourself that was older and that part of yourself which is more recent, you discover that you have all your power at hand. So in the last years or maybe the last months for some of you, you may have been feeling that you've le your, your power has been lessened or that you don't really understand where you're headed to or where you're going to and you're not really sure of how you're moving ahead. But now you, you have an opportunity to understand yourself in, with your power and with all of you at, together. It's like this part of you that is your older self and the part of you that's your newer self is merging together and you discover yourself to be more powerful than you've been until now. And once again, I just want to apologize for the background noises and the the sounds that you hear in this video. I'm really, really sorry about that. The other thing I'm hearing here is that when you do so, you're going to be experiencing your life on such a whole new level, it's going to be something that you will 
you will really be so grateful for. You'll be so grateful for having discovered these old things about yourself. You know, maybe you'd like to play tennis or or some kind of game or some kind of sport in the past. And rediscovering this about yourself is going to make you feel, and doing it again, is going to make you feel like whole again. It's going to make you feel like you've come together, like you are fuller. It makes you feel more wholesome, more fuller, and more at one with yourself. It's like bringing yourself together and bringing yourself out the other end. So it's almost like, you know, you were this person and then you had to go in a different direction because life took you there, or you chose it, or then there were challenges and you went in another direction. But now it's like bringing all these parts of you together and making it into a whole again. And this is the being that you're experiencing right now. And this is the week that you, the week as you go ahead is what you're going to be finding. You're going to be finding that you can bring yourself together in this way and you emerging together and collating yourself and um, becoming whole again in a way that you didn't even realize you needed to be whole, in a way that you didn't even understand you needed to be whole. That is your message for this week. And I hope that is a useful message. For the moment, this is what I'm finding. And I do hope that has been helpful for you. So thank you all very much for coming by this week and for listening to the message. I do hope that you have a lovely week ahead. And I wish you a fabulous time and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.